Luminar is photo editing software that has been pushing the limits of artificial intelligence when it comes to editing your photos. And Luminar Neo is going to be the newest version of Luminar. Right now it's not currently out, but there is a beta out that you can check out for yourself in the link below if you're interested. It officially comes out in February of 2022. Now this software is very similar to Luminar AI, which is currently out right now, but there are some differences and there are some new features as well. And so that is what I'm going going to be focusing on today. Let's check it out. So I've got some test files here. We're going to be looking at three very specific artificial intelligence editing options that we have in Luminar Neo here. I'm sure if you guys have shot with a DSLR in the past and you're constantly swapping lenses, you have dealt with dust spots. Now, obviously this is a very strange image in the sense that this was taken on like pure white here so that you can easily see the dust spots. We're gonna get to a more realistic shot in a second, but let me just show you. If we click on edit over here and then we go to tools, you'll see that this looks almost identical to Luminar AI. But if we click on erase here, you can see remove dust spots is down here. I'm just going to click this. Now using artificial intelligence, it's trying to find all of these little dust spots that would take a long time if we had to manually go in and delete and it's deleting them automatically for us. So as you can see, it's done a really good job here. It's left a few dust spots, but if we wanted to fine tune this, we simply click the erase tool here and I can click on each one of these dust spots and I am ready to click erase and it's going to remove those. Now, if I go back to catalog here, you can see I've got a much more realistic looking shot here. This is where you're really going to see your dust spots is when you zoom into the sky, you'll notice these little spots and some of them are very dark, but more realistically, you're going to get these super light dust spots here. Let's see how the software does with something a little bit more realistic. So that only took like four or five seconds. And uh, in this case, I think it did a perfect job. Now let's move on to something that's a little bit more impressive. I'm going to click on this shot with power lines here and I'm going to move over to erase and you will see remove power lines. Notice that we have two power lines coming into one right here. We've got one little one up here and then we've got this one way in the back that's super small. Let's see if we can grab all of these. I'm just going to click remove power lines and boom, they are gone. And if we zoom in here, you'll notice it even got the little one in the back. Now, obviously it's not going to work this perfectly for every image. I've got one crazy image that I was testing right here. And uh, as you can see, like I wouldn't even know where to begin if I had to do this manually. So I'm gonna click on erase and remove power lines. Let's see how long this takes. <laughs> so as you can see, it did, it did its very best, but honestly, I don't know that I would be able to do much better than this. I mean, uh, it's kind of crazy looking here, but a much more realistic looking image is this one here. And again, erase, remove power lines and boom, like almost perfect job again. And then of course, you know my favorite feature of previous versions is the sky replacement. I'm just going to drop a bright sky in here and uh, I can scroll down, brighten it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, next up, I wanna show you guys the relight option here. I'm going to edit this shot. And if I go down to relight here, I have the option to change the brightness of the foreground, the background, and then I can change the depth. You'll see how it works here. So if I start sliding the brightness near, you're no, you'll notice that it cuts her out and it starts brightening her up. I could go for brightness far. I can move that back. I'm basically going to darken the background. And what this software is doing is it's finding the subject and then it's also trying to create some sort of depth map of the scene in the background. And you'll notice when I slide this depth slider along the bottom, I'm moving the darkness along the scene in the background. So it's almost like a cloud is moving overhead. It's so wild to see this. And uh, you can completely relight your scene. Um, and of course I could go really crazy with this and you know, make it really significant, but I think, you know, just a little faint change here is all this needs. And we can see the before and after. Pretty huge difference there. 
And then I think this shot could also use a, uh, another sky. I'm just gonna grab this one here. Let's see. I think that sky looks pretty good. Obviously, we have a really shallow depth of field scene here. So what I can do is click on defocus and just try to blur the sky similarly to those buildings in the background. It's also a little bit dark. I'm just gonna brighten that sky up a little bit, make it look a little bit more realistic. And I feel like that looks pretty good. Now, if you look at the before and after here, I mean, that is pretty significant. And we did that with three or four sliders. Pretty crazy. Now, let me show you the big difference in the way Luminar Neo works compared to Luminar AI, if you're familiar with that program. And Luminar AI, if you open any one of these editing tools and you make a change and then you move on to another tool and then you go back to that original tool, any of your changes will be saved. That is not how Luminar Neo works. Instead, if I make a change here to the develop module, let's say I make this image really bright and then I click off of this module and I go back to develop, you'll notice that everything zeroes out again. And I was talking with the developers of this application and they were telling me that the reason why they did this is that it makes the software much faster to use and it gives you more options when it comes to editing because it saves each one of these things that you do under this edits tab right here. So you'll see here that my develop changes are saved here and then I can come down here and I can click on my sky edits and then I can come down here and click on my relight edits. Everything that I do to this image is saved as its own moment in history. So if I went back to tools and I go to develop and I try to lower the exposure, you can see it's not gonna look good here, and I go over to edit, there's going to be two develop options here. One here, this is the first one, and then the second one here. So if I wanted to, I could revert this back to its normal settings here by clicking this arrow. And then I could delete this out by clicking on the trash can here. And then of course it's going to open up the first develop edit that we made, and I could fix it here if I wanted to, or again, I could revert it back, and then I could delete this out as well. Now I'm just going to work on this image a little bit more, see if I can get it to pop just a little bit more. And maybe I'll add a LUT here. And look at how big of a difference that is. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you here and that is the Luminar Share app. I've got my iPhone open. I can click on this app and it says scan QR code. And then all I have to do is click up here and connect in the app on my computer. The QR code comes up and boom. It grabs and it automatically connects over to my computer. You have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. And then you can see down here, it says, send photos to Luminar Neo. So here's a photo of my son with my grandmother. And I can click send to Luminar. And almost instantly, it just shows up in our catalog over here. And then I can click on edit and boom, we are editing photos from our phone very quickly. Well, that wraps up this really quick video on Luminar Neo. If you would like to check out the beta before it's officially released, go to the link in the description below. You can check it out right now with your own photography. And remember, head over to fstoppers.com for daily free content. And if you'd like to learn from some of the best photographers in the world, head over to fstoppers.com store to check out our full length photography tutorials.